Hello everyone and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a quite simple nymph with a hotspot at the back. I'll quickly run through the materials that we need for this one. So I've already put a hook. This one is the partridge <coughs> sprout wet, which is a great nymph and wet fly hook. This one is in size 14 down eye barbless and I've paired it with a 2.8 millimeter um, plummeting tungsten bead in the color jet black for the thread I'm using this new one from Semperfly the waxed thread 8 oat in pale olive for the hotspot at the back I'm gonna use some UV uh, some cheeky UV from Semperfly this one is in fluo orange which is a um, fluorescing tinsel. I'm gonna rip the fly with some tying wire. This one is the fine 0.1 millimeter in purple. And for the rest of the materials, we're gonna use some dubbing. This one is from the Dave Whitlock series SLF. So the first one for the body is gonna be the Scud and Shrimp Olive. And then thorax, I'm gonna use a little darker color to darken up in front. I'm gonna use the dragonfly nymph in dark. These are two really great dubbings, work well together. And last, the first material we're gonna tie in is some coque de lion. This one is just the tailing feathers. Nice, stiff, gonna make a nice tail at back. So I'll start by dressing shank of the hook from the bead going back and stopping about the middle, cutting off the tag so we don't have that sticking out the back. And then I'm gonna go down to just before the band of the hook. And here I'm gonna tie in the cock de leon. So take a few fibers off the stem, put them at a 90 degree and just tear these away. And once you have these bundled up, we can measure these to be about the length of the shank. So just put up your fingers to the eye of the hook and then you can see if you have about the right distance, then you can transfer these to your left hand, tying these in right at the back. Just a few turns, make sure that the length is right. You can always adjust these by pulling the tag ends. And here we're gonna tie in our hotspot material. So I'm just taking a little piece of this cheeky UV material designed for cheeks on buzzers but working really well as rib for the material or in this case a hotspot at the back so I'm taking this up at the same time I'm tying down the Coq de Leon so once it beat you can cut these away then I'm going back a few millimeters up from the tails and here I'm gonna do a few turns with our UV material just a few overlapping turns I'm gonna tie this off and here I like to cut this away the length of the body so now go up tying this down building up the shape of the body trying not to get any bumps the next material to go in is the wire so we'll take this going down so tie this one down the whole length of the body and here we're gonna go just a little bit down into the hot spot so just leaving about one and a half turns of the cheeky UV at 
it back. Then on the way up I'm going to take just a small pinch of this SLF dubbing. Don't need much here as the color of thread is already giving me about the same color. So I just want to build up a slightly tapered body on the nymph. So go up to right behind the bead and then we'll get a wire as a rib right through. It's about five or six turns or so. Tie this off. And then you can pull this back, go over it a few more times to secure it, and then you can just bend and break the wire away. And then the last material to go in is the thorax material, which is darker dubbing, and to do this I'm gonna use the split thread technique. So I'm gonna spin my bobbin counterclockwise to flatten the thread. Then I'm gonna insert poke right through in the middle with a dubbing needle. This is gonna split the thread. You can then hold it up open with your index finger. I'm gonna take a small pinch of this darker dubbing. And here you don't need much. Just want it to build up a slightly thicker thorax than the body. And then spin up your bobbin clockwise again. This is gonna cord the thread, trapping all the fibers in between. You can help a little bit with your fingers as well. Then come up with your bobbin. Then we're gonna do a few turns right behind the bead. And then I like to sp spin the thread counterclockwise again to flatten it just a little bit before doing a three or four turn whip finish. Pull tight and cut it away. And then we're done with the tying. You can just tidy this up a little bit. If you have a few fibers that are too long, just pull them away. And to secure this, just gonna add a drop of this water-based head cement from Loon. And this stuff just directly soaks up into the thread. And there we have it. This little simple UV hotspot nymph. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.